Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of our Plant vs Zombies and in this episode we have a special edition in our modern city. Um, something you might notice, there will be a download link in the description, but something you might notice is the flooding. Um, what's going on? I don't really get it. This whole building is crying and that building over there is crying because this building is crying. This building over here wasn't even supposed to be a fountain and now it's some sort of fountain. Um, huge flooding. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe I've got the wrong texture pack or something. Who even knows? But this is all like ice. So I'm guessing that's why it's melting. But I'm not here to talk about ice. I'm here to talk about plant versus zombies. So over here we have our villagers. Like, I'm explaining how it's going to kind of work today. We have the villagers, I'm going to put loads of zombies in here. And in the middle, I'm going to put loads and loads of plants. So I've got this arena here. I've got one arena over there. There you go, kind of like with the glowstones on top of it. And another one up there. So we'll kind of go to those later, but this is our first one today. And their ultimate goal for the zombies is to go on these pressure plates and go inside. Oh, no, 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 no. Bet, buddy, please go back. Please go back. I don't want to kill you. Or you're going to be killed by the zombies. Buddy, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's just say he's back where he's supposed to be. Okay, we can get rid of that. So let's get started with our plants. So with our plants today, wow, we have quite a few. We have five pea shooters. We have five repeaters. I'm going to leave that one there for now. We have five scaredy shrooms. Five fume shrooms. Five three peters. Uh, five hypno shrooms and five peanuts. Then we have ten potato mines and ten spike weeds. Wow, we have quite a few. So it's quite a big arena today. Um, so maybe that's why we have quite a few. So let's go ahead. And our ultimate goal is to make sure that the zombies don't reach the pressure plates because then they can go in and attack the zombies. So where should we put these? Let's do one, two, three, four, five. Perfect, like that. And then we'll do five here. So we do one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to do like one, two, three, four, five. Like in that little formation, like a V. Then one, two, three, uh, oh, four, five. There we go. And then five of these. I'm going to put these right at the back because it's so good. So three there, and then two here. And then these hypno shrooms, I'm just going to put them like right here because directly they get eaten up by a zombie. Those zombies that eat these will turn into brainwash zombies. And those brainwash zombies will attack the zombies rather than the villagers, so it's going to be so cool, I can't wait. These peanut ones are just like extremely strong um, repeaters, so that's like the only thing they do. These potato mines, I'm going to put them right at the beginning, so we've got three there, uh, another three there, and I'm going to put like three here, and then one here, that's ten. And then we have some spike weeds, let's put them right there, there you go, one, uh, like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Trust me, after this video you'll be able to count from one to ten so well, because we're going to have so many countings, like we've done 1 to 5 so many times, then 10, and then now for the zombies, we have 10 buckethead zombies, 10 flag zombies, 10 imps, 10 explorer zombies, 5 football zombies, and 5 gargantuas. Gargantuas are my favourite, you guys should know that. Um, so let's go ahead, perfect is dark, which means that the zombies can't be killed by sunlight, so let's go ahead, so we've got one, oops. They can't be killed by sunlight, but they can be killed by peaceful mode. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then ten of these, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Then one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and ten. Okay, whew. one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. 9 and 10, and then 5 of these are so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5 of these gargantuas, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, perfect. Okay, I am ready. Oh wow, they almost made it through, because there's so many people in, <laughs> oh my days, that is crazy. Let me get rid of these uh, zombie spawns, perfect, and you guys ready to let them out? We've got two sides to let out, this side and this side. So you guys ready? One and two. Here we go. And one. Come on. I can't. I can't even open it. Is this even a door? There you go. One and two. There we go. They're free. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, we've got one brainwash zombie there, the purple one. He will fight back with the other zombies for us, and he will help us out. They've almost made it into the villagers. Gosh. 
They're still making it out over there, but I think they're stuck on this corner. So what I'm going to do is just going to help them out real quick. There you go. Oops, sorry, fella. Let's just help them out because if not, they'll be stuck forever. There you go. Here we go. So all the potato mines are destroyed, which means I replace them in good locations. The villagers are now loose. Why are they running around for? Why are they are loose? We have one villager like, I am not moving. We've got that villager over there running for his life. What about the gargantua is going after? Have they found something? Let's see, are they going for that villager? Yes, they've killed a... Well, not yes, but I was just happy they went for a villager. Um, we have two villagers left. What's going to happen? Gosh, the villager is just too fast for them, and he is getting attacked by the repeaters because he is in the way. So that villager should just literally go back inside that fenced area. Then he'll be fine. So if we have four gargantuas left, and they are so amazing because they have so many life points. It is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to get rid of some of these fences because they might be in the way a little bit um, for the zombies. Perfect. Wow, those spike weeds are placed in good locations because when they go over them, they get slowness. And then the three peters will like shoot them back and everything. So it's a very um, it's a very well-placed location, I think, for everything. And look at all those pea pods being shot everywhere. Goodness me. So let's see. Um, the villagers have won. And I think that villager actually went back into the cages... Um, it's quite funny because the villagers have to be in cages and usually they should be let free. Um, so let's see. Uh, who's going to be the first one to die? This guy here is going to be the first to die. And then it'll be everyone else will be quite quick to die because now there's one less. Oh wow, he destroyed one. I'm surprised he even made it. Because every time they get here, they get a knockback feature. So, oh, there goes the last one. Fella, I'm so sorry. Please don't look at me like that. Please don't cry. Come on, don't do that to me. Please, come on, just take your fate because you are a zombie after all. Hey, look at that creeper up there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so distracted. Um, nine life points, seven life points, four life points. He's about to die. Three life points and one life point. So congratulations to the two last villagers who actually made it alive. You are guys are the winners of this first match. And where's our next one? I've seen it some. Oh, it's over there. There you go. Because in this village, it's so hard to find stuff. Um, what's going on here? Um, you guys, what are you guys making like a little village again? What are cows doing here? And what are sheep doing in there? It's so crazy. I guess I'm going to leave them just because what kind of ha harm can they do? I don't know. So we've got 10 pea shooters, 10 repeaters, 10 snow peas, 10 peanuts, 10 through peters, and 10 puff shrooms. Did you guys notice that these are all shooting plants? So, it's going to be a lot of uh, shooting going on on this one. So, let's do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just do nine of every single one. Then we do one of each on the last one. So, here we go. Is it nine, three, six? Yeah, that's nine. And these ones, here we go. There we go. And for, oh, almost there. And for the last one, here we go. Let's just put, <laughs> well, this was badly planned. We put the baby ones at the start, which shouldn't be like that. Um, the baby ones should be right at the back because they should be the last ones to die. Um, and there we go. Gosh, look at that. That's very well organized. I'm actually quite happy with how this one turned out. Um, so, oh, what's going on there? Is there two in one? Maybe that's my mistake. I'm sorry. Um, so let me explain them. These are like the most basic ones. Then is these ones. Um, that then have like a double shot compared to those ones. And these ones like have a shot, but they give slowness and they also have a knockback. So that's quite cool. And these ones are just like really strong um, repeaters because like they have 60 life points and these ones only have four. And then we have the three peters that only have four life points, but they shoot three shots at once. And then the puff shrooms are amazing during nighttime. So that's like the whole basic nutshell of those plants. So it's quite cool. So let's put these all back. Here we go. Perfect. And let's get out oh, these pigs and these uh, sheep. Let's get the zombies. Five imp monks. Five football zombies. Five engineer zombies. Five explorer zombies. Five newspaper zombies. Those are my favorite because it's so fast also. And I do love the gargantuas. They're super cool. Uh, so we have five gargantuas. Five peasant zombies. Five buckethead zombies. And five flag zombies, but peasants type. So let's go ahead. You guys ready? Oh, I can tell that these guys can't wait to start attacking these. So one, two, let's, oh, that is not supposed to happen. What's going on? Why are they being attacked? Is there like an opening somewhere? 
That wasn't supposed to happen. So we've got three, four. Maybe I'm placing the wrong location. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do ten just because they've been attacked already. So let's do five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Five of these. Gosh, why they've been attacked already? No, come on. We have to hurry up. Two, three, four, five. Come on. Five. Five. And almost there. We almost made it. And the last five. Here we go. Perfect. Gosh, they made it through. How's that even possible? Oh no, they haven't made it through. Okay, you guys ready? Let's do the opening. One and two. They're now free to come out wherever they want. Whoa. There's newspaper zombies. I told you they're so quick. And they already run towards the zombies. And these ones uh, run towards the villagers, I mean. Those zombies are really smart because they go towards the zombies and then do that because they want the plants to shoot them but also hit the villagers, uh, villagers at the same time. So it's very, uh, very smart zombies actually. Gosh, they're all coming out like one at a time and they barely even make it through. Um, maybe let's do like a little opening here. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Just kind of like help them out a little bit just because I feel sorry for them if they can't get out. There we go. Perfect. So they have destroyed the first few. Gosh, and the last ones we have are the Gargantuas. I really don't think they're going to be able to leave that corner. Um, gosh, look at that. Oh. Guys, my game kept on crashing, so I had to actually delete the mod and then uh, reinstall it, and that got rid of all my plants. But to be honest, we all know that the zombies lost because the Gargantuas were in this corner. It's just so sad that I had to get like rid of this uh, arena, but that arena up there is still okay. I checked it earlier. Um, but yeah, it was just madness that it just crashed my computer. That was crazy. So, side note, don't place too many plants. If not, you will crash like me. So, be quite careful of that. Um, so, let's go ahead and do our next arena. Um, we we kind of know that what happens to that one. Gosh, are they doing like some running tracks or something? What's going on? What are they going in a circle for? They're sort of like dancing. Look at them. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five. Go on, go on, go, go. Okay, guys. Uh, you won't be running, well, you won't be so happily running around in a few seconds um, because we have more zombies. So, first up, we have plants. Gosh, very basic, but 20 potato mines. Wow. 10 pea shooters and 10 three peters. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a very explosive one. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. I have to count this because if not, I forget. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. There we go. So basically, the zombies will come out. They will keep on getting like destroyed by the potato mines until they get to this area where they hopefully they can't get through to the pressure plates and then for the pea shooters i'm going to put them kind of like behind here so um hmm what's my reason for this why am i putting them here the reason for it is because when they come through i want them all to kind of be destroyed by the mines but then they'll be shot into the mines if that makes sense i don't know it's very confusing i don't know what i'm thinking sometimes so what's that uh six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we've done eleven. So I let that slide. And then here we go. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Okay. Wow. Gosh. Come on. There we go. I feel like this is going to be a very odd fight. A very odd one. I've never even experienced anything like this. So let's get the zombies out. So we have ten imps, uh, monks, ten dragon imps. 10 wizard zombies, 15 knight zombies, and 10 peasant buckethead zombies. Okay, I am ready for this. So we have one, two, three. Oh, let's get rid of this chest. Come on, there you go. So hopefully now they can't jump up and be destroyed whilst I'm placing these. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15 of these, gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And then 10 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh my days, I completely forgot about this. There you go, night time. 
Because of that, I am going to place um, how many more zombies? Uh, wizard zombies are almost dead, so I'm going to have to place these all over again. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I always forget to put on darkness, it's so annoying. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the final one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. You guys ready for this? This is going to be insane. Let's open the top one, and let's open the bottom one. There we go, got in destroyed by the protector mines already. Here we go, oh, another one destroyed. They've all, oh, wow, gosh. They're going for something. They are, oh, there goes potato mines. They've destroyed, have they destroyed any pea shooters? No, they haven't. The mines seem to be destroying them all. Let's open up here, oh, there you go. So hopefully they can all make it through now. Make it through, there you go. So destroyed uh, two pea shooters. The, they seem to be a bit lost now. Let's see. Let's open them up for them. There you go. Why did that villager get out? What's he doing there? Well, it's up to him if he wants to be there. Um, gosh. Oh, there you go. Another pea shooter destroyed. Wow. That was like the easiest fight ever. Should we make it a little bit different? And let's just spawn like loads until they all get destroyed. Because the zombies uh, didn't win on this one. So I just want to kind of spawn loads more. Kind of see until what point they will have of one. So there you go, destroying the pea shooters, very low health, like one or two hits, they're completely dead. Um, let's see. Okay. So they, even that, like I must have placed about an extra 10 zombies and they still didn't even destroy the pea shooters. But I'm okay with that, you know, it's sometimes not a very fair fight, but we, you know, it's getting there eventually. So guys, thank you for so much for watching this video. Don't forget there will be a download link in the description to this map and then to the mod. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I'll see you very soon in the next Plant vs. Zombies episode. Peace out.